But the Bible tells us in Proverbs 27, 18, that if your servant is serving you well, Proverbs 27, verse 18, if your servant is loyal, if your servant is a good person, if you have a worker, who you yourself, you know that this worker, his input, his contribution to my company, whosoever keep it, a fig three inch or something, something, where is it? So he that wasted on his, uh, he that waited on his master shall be honored. When you are waiting on your master, you are a lawyer, you are, you are committed. You see, any one of you, some of you have companies of a sort, some of you have small stores, some of you have shops, some of you have whatever it is. You have a worker who is so loyal, will not eat your money, eat your money, you understand? Will not eat your money, is so committed, please. Honor them. Honor them. Don't let them work and at a point they will regret and say, monkey they work, babu they job. Honor them. Let them know that you appreciate what they are doing. Yeah. Once a while, maybe at the end of the year, we said, for all these years you have helped me take this one. Buy yourself something. Or take this gift. Or this. Honor people like that. Extra chapter 6 verse 3. When Mordecai had told the king many years or a month or something about a plot to kill him, the king forgot to honor him. So one day he was sleeping, and because of that thing he had not done. When he was sleeping, he had that night he couldn't sleep, he was suffering. And he got up and he started reading the chronicles, and then he found out that there's a man who has helped him and he has not honored. So he said, What shall I do? And the king said, What? honor and dignity has been done to Mordecai for this he has saved me he has helped me a driver has been your driver for all these years somebody has been carrying things to Bola for you somebody has been working with you 10 years other people come 2 months they are gone they steal hammer they steal shibaru and they go but this one is a loyal person honor the man honor the person do you understand what I'm talking about? You are a contractor. You have one mason, one carpenter. They have been with you 10 years. They are working very hard. Their salary is insignificant. Buy them one plot. Divide it into four. Build four different houses and say, this one I give it to the, my contractor who has worked with me for 20 years. This one I give it to my, my plumber. This one. Honor them. Let them feel honored. People don't know how to honor people who have served them well. They just, they just treat them anyhow. One swerve of a driver like this, and he will take your side to meet that to Kuleta, and that will be the end of you. <laughs> that will be the end of you. So there are people you must honor.